We are out going to meet some mushers for the Yukon Quest that is coming up this weekend. We are on a date with Evelyn. We just have one child. It's so weird to only have one. your poster. Yeah. Can you get them all to sign it? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. You gotta talk nice. Hey. Okay, we're in line and it is like, wow, there's people all over the place. This is gonna be awesome. There's a table full of all the mushers, at least most of them that will be competing this year. I think Matt Hall's even there who, is, who gave the kids a ride in his dog sled last year. Let's put a link in that video if we could. So super cool. This is a great experience and we're gonna hopefully get some signatures for Evelyn for her poster. Yes. You excited about your signatures? Yeah. Yeah. Yukon 
Quest 2018. Looks like there's 28 teams running total in this event this year. Guys, this is a thousand mile race. And this year it's running from Fairbanks um, all the way to Whitehorse in Canada. So ridiculous, ridiculous long. Um, pretty neat though. And you know, there's some things I learned that I did not know. Uh, veterinarians that actually go along with all these dogs and they're from all over the world. I can't remember all the countries, I think Australia, Germany, to be able to make sure these dogs are safe and make sure that they uh, there's nothing wrong with them, fix them as they go. And these dogs are excited. They live for this kind of race. So during this event, I actually get to have a photographer pack. So I get to actually capture inside the chute. So you can see I'm actually inside the chute here where they're actually going to run, which will be pretty awesome. Who are you rooting for? I'm rooting for all of them. Let's nice. just see that. <laughs> and then it will be on their way to White Horse. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us on the Yukon Quest. We sure did have some fun. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.